Hey everybody, this is Forget Me Not Films, film number two. And here we are today with Miss Christie as we speak about her sister. And her sister's name is Kimberly. And we're going to start with the questions and hope you enjoy. The first thing is, what gives Kimberly's life meaning? Uh, her, her life was full of meaning and one of the most important things to her was um, with worship and she worked, worshiped the true and living God and it was vibrant and she loved the music of worship, she loved the Word of God, prayer time was worship for her, praying with friends was worship for her and so that, um, and just her ministry to people, she served, she loved, she loved well. So those are, I could go on and on <laughs> about her, but those are just a few things. What brings Kimberly joy? Well, her family. Um, she had three incredible kids, and full. Uh, there was music in their family. We were brought up in a musical family, and so we both have some musical abilities. And because she married a husband who had a lot of that too, you can just imagine that her kids were full of it. And so music gave her joy. Um, oh, just being with family again, just worship, being surrounded by music. She loves. Baylor football, so she went to Baylor football games, mm -hmm. and I mean, she was there with them, and just yelling to the top of her lungs. When her son played football, she went to all his football games and yelled with the best of them. Oh, her kids, because they were musical, they did concerts, they all had music degrees, so she spent a lot of time going to recitals. She taught piano, she had, she was a school teacher, she was a school teacher, taught fourth grade, and her students gave her joy, the teachers gave her joy. Something really cool about her is even where she taught. It was a public school, but she said that was my church, because there were a lot of believers there. And so they, they gave her joy, loves old movies, loves gardening as far as flowers, loves working in her yard, and loves taking walks, loves... She lives in Waco, Texas. They have a dollar theater still. So she and her husband would go to movies and see, uh, pay a dollar. And uh, she would sneak her own little snacks in the purse. And, of course, <laughs> she got caught a time or two, but it was, you know, cares. She really didn't care. If they didn't get what happened when she got caught? <laughs> get, get rid of it. <laughs> um, so it, there's um, no jail story here. <laughs> um, so her, No, no jail time for that. Um, her, or they didn't throw her out. Her husband was a biker. She loved to get on that motorcycle and take bike rides with him. Loved, um, Waco has rivers, water, loves to go to, and just sit, sit on a picnic table at the river, which is with her husband, so. Oh, anyway. And what, what is her husband's name? His name's Wes. Okay, Wes? Wes. Wes. Mm -hmm. Got it, Wes. Um, so what gifts did Kimberly bring? Well, she, she didn't mind spending, spending a lot of time in the kitchen, and so she, did not do extravagant fancy meals, but boy, she just did just down to home cooking. And so she made meals, and I honest to goodness uh, don't know how she did it, but she always had enough food because, you know, the more the merrier. She'd come on over and eat, come on over and eat. That's what she would do. So cooking, she loved to bake. She loved to make Italian cream cake. Um, brownies and so baking oh my goodness her gifts one thing she would do she was a card writer now she would have a card and it would have some kind of greeting or whatever was needed for the specific occasion but she would write um, at least a paragraph and I mean I have cards from her that I love to go back through and read and sometimes I mean have letters she write paragraphs 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 and one of her two people just lately they've gone through stuff and they've said she she just her gift was sending cards and she wrote she wrote and so on Facebook they have actually posted some of those cards and what she wrote and so that was something she did, you know, cooking, sharing her home, hospitality, um, oh, just her laughter. I mean, that's definitely a gift. Um, she had a gift of making people just, they could be themselves with her, and that she, they'd start pouring out their life story to her and feel like their best friend, that she was their best friend, and they her. Um, so she just had a gift of, of relationships. Wow. Well, wonder, is it bothering you? Okay, we'll keep going. Okay, um, 
how did she make others feel? How did Kimberly make others feel? Uh, she had a personality that's warm and inviting, and they just felt totally loved and accepted. They could, they could say anything to her, and, you know, she didn't care. It didn't, you know, she just accepted them, loved them, and, um, like I said, they could just pour out their life story to her. I'm not quite sure how she got people to do that, but she did. And it's people, people need some place to tell their stories and be safe. Mm -hmm. And that's the kind of person she was. So that was pretty incredible. Um, What's the most memorable thing to you about your sister? Um, positive, full of life, um, full of love, um, just had a good time. I could that was where I could totally be myself I could just be me and know that I was loved and accepted and so pretty special what adjectives best describe her I'm gonna start with the verb first and okay. what verbs okay, start with the verbs first I was thinking about she danced with life she mm -hmm. just and I mean the last week of her life her spirit, her soul, she was, um, she just danced. She moved energetic, full of life. And so I was just thinking, you know, what, how would you describe her? Um, a verb. And I just think she danced in life, danced in the moment. Not, I know, of course, she had low times. Of course, she did. But so much of it, she knew how to pick herself up and get dancing again. Mm -hmm. So that would be one. And then adjectives. Energetic, fiery, um, just just absolutely full of life. Um, flashy, that's another one. I just, in fact, I, um, when I was getting ready this morning, I went to my closet and I saw this. I thought, I'm wearing it. That is Kimberly. She gave this to me. And she loved the, I mean, she could, um, she loved bright colors because um, that's just who she was. She just, um, she just, she lit up a room. Mm. So that would be a lot of wonderful describe words for her really like the dance with life line that's really that's really good what do other people always thank her for loving she was loving uh, had a servant's heart she she was a, a, available she was available to help to, um, to meet needs and so that's something I remember about her that people would say mm -hmm. what was what is her deepest values? Her deepest values would be God and family and, and, and people, relationships, just people. Yeah. That's truly what she valued. What is something that Kimberly accomplished in the past that you're proud of? She got Teacher of the Year. Oh. What year? What oh, I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. Teacher what year? Year. What grade did she teach? She taught fourth grade. Fourth grade. Okay, cool. That's really awesome. And so what was that question again? There may be more. What is something that Kimberly accomplished that you're proud of? Oh, the way she walked through illness. Um, her courage. I mean, she was courageous. She was brave to have a surgery that took... 12 to 15 hours having her sternum removed and rebuilt. I mean, that's pretty huge. She wanted to be around. She wanted, it, and really it was for, she, she loved life. She wanted to keep living, but she wanted you know, to keep living for her kids. I mean, she sacrificed. That was quite a sacrifice. Just a rough, rough surgery that um, one time she said, well, she said, this is gonna how I'm going to look at it. I'm going to reframe this. And she said, you know, people are in car wrecks sometimes. Their bodies are crushed, and somehow they're put back together. So <laughs> she said, there you go. I'm going to do it. <laughs> so, hmm. um, What did she like to do in her spare time? She loved to take walks. And again, I already mentioned she loved to watch old movies, black and white movies on TV. And... Um, bike ride with her husband, um, working, you know, planting plant flowers when spring came. She, spending time with grandchildren, that was something she loved to do, and um, spending time with me. We lived far away from each other, but she loved getting with me, so that was pretty special. Walk around Kimberly and Wes's house. What clues reveal what she loves? 
Okay, and that kind of takes me back to the question before it because something else she loved to do in her spare time was bargain hunt. <laughs> her favorite stores would be Fred's and Dollar Store and Hobby Lobby. And she always, she just had a nose for finding the bargains. I mean, it was the most remarkable thing. Something else, one reason she loved to find those bargain tables because she loved to buy little gifts for people. And she would remember, I mean, she could look at something and she would just know that that was for a certain person. And so she, all of that to say something she loved at Holly Hobby Lobby were Christian plaques. And so her house was literally, I mean, very tastefully decorated but decorated with beautiful plaques, scripture plaques all around. I mean, she had different other kind of art, but she, she had that. Every room in her house would have something related. It would have a scripture. In fact, one of my favorites that I've always loved is it's, it's taken from the story of when God encountered, um, when Elijah encountered God. You know, God was not in the whirlwind. He was not in the earthquake, but he was in the quiet. And one of my favorite plaques in her house is in the stillness he is there. Another one is without faith it is impossible to please God. She had one that had all the fruits of the Spirit. Um, so that just was such a blessing to just be in her home because that meant her home was full of full of Jesus um, as, as I saw her full of Jesus too. I like that one. I think that's been my favorite. What does she secretly love about herself? She had red hair, fiery red hair. So I guarantee she loved that red hair, and she loved it when people said, is it real? She said, this is not out of a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> and so her fiery red hair, uh, just the flashy way she could, she would dress. She had, she didn't, um, finances, well, they were always kind of strapped financially, but she again could find the bargains and she could find the flashy colors and she wore them well because that just, that's just who it was. It, it matched her personality. That's good. What did people compliment Kimberly on? Well, she was always put together um, when she went out and so they would, um, you know, they, the way she dressed and so we were brought up, we, we did not set foot out of the house pretty much without our makeup. That is just how our mother was, and that's kind of how we were. And so, um, she would have, there was a certain kind of makeup she would wear. And so quite often she would also get compliments. Oh, what kind of makeup do you have? Uh, what is that? And of course she'd tell them, and she'd look at them and say, you'd hate it because it's kind of heavy. But anyway, it looked good on her, and um, in fact, I wore it a long time. But, <laughs> but anyway, just the way she, you know, her, her makeup. She, um, her makeup matched her personality, too. Um, the brighter lipstick, the, the really kind of heavy eyeshadow and eyeliner, it just matched her. That's good. What gave, or what gives her peace of mind? When her children are settled hmm. and when they're following God and when she didn't have to worry about them because she knows they're on the right path and right road. That gave her peace of mind. And, um... She was quite concerned about one, and and that one is going to be fine because of the prayers of Kimberly that my sister has prayed always, and she will get settled and find her way, but um, she's getting there but because those prayers are still being answered. It's all going to be okay. It'll be okay. Well, thank you so much for taking a moment to speak about your sister Kimberly to us. And I like to end the video with one question. We all know that Kimberly is no longer living on earth with us. So where is Kimberly? Well, I, something that I'm going to tell you first is to me it's one of the neatest gifts that has been given me is because I didn't really remember this. But my sister told me, she said, Christy, you know, you are who led me to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And so she said, yeah, she said, we were in the bedroom, and she said, I just told you that I'm going to be a Christian. And so she said, you, you, because I was 12 years old, she was pretty young, she said, you led me in, to the Lord. And, and her husband didn't even realize I knew that, so not long ago, she said, did you know you led your sister to the Lord? And I said, oh, okay. <laughs> I did know. Kimberly had told me that. And so because she put her faith and trust in Jesus Christ as her Savior, she, is she, you know, she's home. She is safely home to that place that, of course, we, 
you know, we enjoy life here, but it is that home that is much better than here. So I know she's absolutely in heaven and, and it gives me such comfort knowing she is there with our mother. I just can't imagine what all um, they are doing. And so I know where she is and she's in heaven and she is with Jesus. And because she already loved worship, she loves, she loves music. Oh my goodness. And my mom did too. I totally cannot imagine the good time they're having playing the piano. And I truly believe she's learning new instruments because that's what I'm going to do <laughs> on there too. And singing just her heart out. Dancing, my goodness. And I think she's flying. That's how I, I just believe when we're heaven we get to fly. <laughs> so, so anyway, I know where she is and I think I have an idea of what, just a tiny bit of what she might be doing and she is living it up. And um, it's going to be fun to see her again one day. Well, thank you. Everybody, thank you for watching. This is Forget Me Not Films and Remember, this is always in memory of Nana. Thank you.